Now to a Fox 5 exclusive. A man's last moments caught on surveillance video early this morning. Brazelton police say he was an unsuspecting victim standing at a jukebox in a bar when he received a fatal sucker punch. Wow, well now that man who threw the punch is behind bars and he's charged with murder. Fox 5's George Franco joins us from the Barrow County Detention Center. George? Well, today, and Doug Brazelton police tell me that the video is their strongest evidence against a man being held here at the Barrow County Detention Center charged with murder after a sucker punch at a bar. So now I'm about to get punched. I'm about to lose my life. Brazelton Assistant Police Chief Lou Solis showed me surveillance video of what he described as an unprovoked attack on 34 year old Clint Roshan Ali, who police say was sucker punched while at the jukebox at Jack's Bar and Grill early this morning. It's murder. I mean, the guy just goes up to him and just. A defenseless guy doesn't even know what's about to hit him. The victim's family owns this Shell gas station next door to Jack's. The manager says Ali didn't have any enemies. Everyone that came in here knew Clint, knew his posture that he gave out. He gave out an aura, a vibe of positivity. And he tells him that guy over there, this guy right here, threatened that guy. Assistant Chief Solis says the attacker, identified as 40-year-old David DiGiacomo, told people in the bar Ali had previously threatened a friend he was with at the time. No report was ever made by this guy saying that this that, uh, that, that Mr. Ali made a threat to me. Would it matter anyway? It wouldn't matter. Solis said a customer who was a nurse and then responding paramedics performed CPR on Ali, who later died at the hospital. And just cold cocks him. The assistant chief says the GBI crime lab determined the case was a homicide caused by the unprovoked sucker punch and subsequent fall that killed Clint Ali. The, the hospital staff did all they could. Uh, it gives them some kind of a small comfort uh, knowing that, hey man, they tried to save my son. And Assistant Police Chief Solis told me that he conferred with the District Attorney's Office before filing the charge of murder and other charges against D.G. Acoma, who is being held here at the jail. Now, coming up all new on Fox 5 News Edge at 11 o'clock, more on this case when we speak to the lead investigator. But for now, in Barrow County, I'm George Franco, Fox 5 News.